I had a dream last night again. I was going deeper, deeper down into hell. And then I realized I really wasn't moving at all. And then that's when I fell down. But before we get to that, we need to get to the new outfits that we got. Seijiro's getting his swimsuit. Sakura is going to be Gemini. Oh, no! She has a cowgirl hat for it. Oh, no! Hatsuho is going to be uh, Glycine. Who? Uh, Azami is going to be Hanabi. Anastasia is going to be Erika. And uh, she had round glasses. That was supposed to be in the last chapter, but she'll wear them here. Oh. Okay. And Clarissa is... Well, Diana! Oh, okay. Uh, I'm okay with... I'm okay with that, I think. And oh. as for the music, well, let's, uh... Let's go backwards. Let's go with, uh... The Paris soundtrack this time. Ooh, yeah. I like that. We'll go with that. Why not? Maybe, yeah. Maybe it'll be fun. But, uh... This chapter... This is where things get really bad. I, I hear things about this chapter. Hooray! So as we all know, this is supposed to be Hatsuho's chapter, but mm -hmm. she has to, of course, split it with Sakura. Mm hmm And it... Oh, boy. Oh, man. Well, first of all, Zajiro has got his swimsuit. It nice! Looks, it, looks, it looks pretty snazzy, actually. I, I would, like, wear that myself. Bring back the Hawaiian shirts. Maybe button those bo those bottom two down there, because, yeah. Well, you know, you gotta show off the midriff. He's been working out. Gotta show off. So the stage is destroyed, but we still gotta put on a show. But we need money for the repairs. We can't put on a show. But don't worry, we're gonna do it anyway. Somehow. Okay, whatever. Hey. Let's just go... Uh, let's go the unique route. And let's do Christmas Carol. We don't need a lot of, you know, setup for that. It's just, just a non-issue, whatever. You can put on a perfectly good play without all the glitz and glamour. But we don't, we don't got to worry about the repairs right now. That's not, that's not what's important. What's important, <laughs> what's important is that Sakura is upset. Okay. I forgot about this. It's been a while since we recorded. I completely forgot. Do, do, how about can this. you forget? All that matters <laughs> is that Sakura is upset. Oh, why is she wearing that? Oh, she doesn't have the the red hair. That's not Gemini. Feels like, feels like a lie. I do like Hatsuho's outfit. That's pretty nice. So Hatsuho's trying to do her best to cheer her up, even though her dream is just is destroyed. But she is just not having it. Let's see. You don't have anything that matters this much to you. How the fuck do you know that? What is wrong with you? I have a prediction, because I know anime. I predict a good slap in the face to snap her out of it by the end of this. And then she will automatically not feel better, but with the power of love and friendship, we will get through it. So you got, like, like 15% of that right. Damn it. So you can you, you can try and make your predictions based on cliches alone, but no nothing in the world can predict the random nature of just straight up bad writing. I mean, this will all be solved by the boss fight at the end of the chapter. So So they're supposed to be like sisters, Hatsuho and Sakura, right? They're supposed to be like, you know, best friends. They are thick and thin. They are? <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah, they are. That's the whole. That's the whole thing. They're they're like they're like okay. bestie besties. Uh -huh. But I thought I was their bestie because she's always hanging around me. But you know, whatever. She's everybody's friend. She's like the goddess of all of us. Yeah, anyway, anyway, she is just destitute. She just will not listen to any philosophy. She will not listen to any warm, kind words. She she's just not having it. But hey, maybe I can say something. I as her uh, superior officer and totally not secret crush. But hey, you know what? Uh, <laughs> don't do it. Okay. You know she don't. She don't want to talk to me. I don't want to talk to her. She wants to fucking sit in her room and mope and. I ain't got nothing to live for anymore because the person who I wanted to be like is not who I expected to be because I met my heroes. And, yeah. So you want to you want to <laughs> whine and mope and fight? Oh wait, I have no choice. I have to talk to her. Nice heelys you got there, Komachi. 
By the way, this proves to me that you've never dealt with a teenager. <laughs> this is primo 16 to 17 year old. Oh my god, I'm so depressed. Well, what's, what should I do? Sit there and go, hey, everything's gonna be okay, or just let him cry it out. Let them get over it, let them figure out their own shit, and hey, I'll have I'll have bacon sandwiches by the time you're done crying. <laughs> I brought Krispy Kremes! You want you wanna get a half new meal? Do, <laughs> do you want do you want some ice cream? I can get you ice cream. Yes, take care of her, and he slides a finger over his throat. <laughs> Use the pillow. So we're supposed to, like, sympathize with Sakura. We're, we're supposed to be, like, you know, really, wow. really feeling her pain. Like, oh my god, Sakura, I, the player, am distraught that she's feeling like this, but I, I really don't care. Because I don't, I don't have any kind of connection with her. The, the game has forced this on me because I realize that its narrative kind of falls apart if you don't give a shit about her. Well, do you think this might be a little bit of Lost in Translation stuff since we never got the other four Sakura games? What's what's to be translated about only one person is well, the star of the show? Okay, you got, you got me there. I was thinking, like, maybe if we knew the Sakura she knew, then she would... You know, we might feel something. What are you wearing? <laughs> are you a battle nun? It's what Erica wore. Who's Erica? She was in another Sakura Wars game. All Three right. and four. I could never get them. I can never tell them apart. I know the first two were in Tokyo, and then they go to Paris, and then they. Go to Dude. London. Erica Fontaine, what is up? Well, uh, you sound like an unforgiving master. Holy shit, she has like machine gun shaped like crosses. She was a nun. <laughs> She's in Project Cross Zone. Yeah, she is. Oh, that's awesome. Who else is in Pro Cro uh, Project Cross Zone? Uh, d probably everybody. Sakura Shinguji. Oh! You know, a Sakura I'd be glad to see. You know, I actually need to play through those. They the second one is far better than the first. Did they, like, fix mechanics or something like that? Absolutely. Okay. Noted. First one, first one was like this weird kind of hybrid, you know, just this, this, this bad kind of turn-based system, but then they, like, refined it, make it made it more like Fire Emblem and, su and subsequent games in the, in the second one. Okay. Feels a lot better to play. And the plot is, who gives a shit? Oh, yeah, she's on the front cover. So is Dante and uh, Yuri and Jill Valentine and Mega Man. That came out in 2012. Oh my god. It's a very numbing game, though. Especially <laughs> when you do the same combos over and over again. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, okay. Azami, what's up? Okay, see, that actually works for you. You still got the frills, but it's a bit more subtle. Yeah. Also, you're dark, like, you know, a ninja, so you can hide in the shadows. See, she looks like she would be an alternate character in the board game Clue. <laughs> Or maybe, like, you know, if they made an updated movie version of Clue, she'd be one of the maids or something like that. I did it. In the driveway, with my bare hands. That's not an option! Oh, we're playing a game? <laughs> I don't think you understand what Hasbro had in mind. Wait. What is... I don't know. How do you spell Seijuro's name? Seijuro. Juro. Okay. Maybe I had, like, a mandala effect, and I was always reading it as the other form of Seijuro. 
I've been, I've, I find myself saying it as Sage Hero. Maybe that's oh. where I'm getting it. She dropped a bromide. Thank you. What do we got? <laughs> she took a picture of me sleeping. See, it'd be hilarious if, if we find out that all the girls have a crush on me and they all know about it and they all talk about it and we have a chapter about that, but no, it's gotta be about Sakura's fucking problems all the time! Is that seriously the subplot of this chapter? No, it'd be funny if it was, though. It'd be great if that happened. That'd be oh, hilarious. Okay. It's like, why do you guys all have bromides at me? Do you take pictures of me while I'm sleeping and shit? It's like, what's with all this? He actually did mention that, so that is a, a picture while he was sleeping. It's like all these plot threads that could go somewhere that they don't do anything with, and they just have to keep beating the hammer home that Sakura is great! Sakura is great! <sighs> I'm really holding out hope that Sakura is just a changeling. She is every character from the original Sakura Wars games. So, there, there's like a a mobile game about Sakura Wars. I think it's called Sakura Wars Revolution or whatever. Oh, and really? I have no I have no idea what Sega is fucking doing with the plot anymore because now we don't even have the the benefit of it being a timepiece or a, or a uh, period piece, because it takes place 70 years after this game! Oh. It's like, we we, we want to do the mechs, but we don't want the, the... the early 20th century steampunk stuff. We just want to make mechs. We want mechs. Sega likes mechs. We're gonna make mechs. <laughs> mechs, 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 mechs. Mechs sell money. Steambot characters don't. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, looked we... up Sakura Wars mobile game. The very first article made January 8th of this year. Headline, Soccer Wars mobile game has reportedly been an expensive disaster. <laughs> because they're doing it wrong! <laughs> it's like, let's take away everything that made Soccer Wars good, <laughs> anything that mattered about it, and see what people like it. Oh, they don't! Go oh, figure! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see, brand new mobile release of Soccer Wars... Hanasaki Maidens has completely flopped at launch, uh, stating that the free-to-play gotcha title, oh my, gotcha game. Yeah, that, oh yeah. Has raked in only 73 million yen, which is about <laughs> $703,000 in our currency in its first Terrible. month. That is pathetic if your gotcha <laughs> title can't rake you in like millions <laughs> because they don't have anything behind it it's like hey how about here here's the name you recognize but all these new people oh and, and it's, it's like that it said it debuted the 215th in the mobile sales ranking charts oh jesus well, here, here's a bromide for you it's Andre and plum <gasps> oh my god i miss you girls god i miss you guys too we'll be no. Oh, we gotta we got hang with these losers instead. It's like, why is every part of your body covered except your thighs there? <laughs> every single part. <laughs> that's, that's that's ridiculous. That's, that's that's stupid looking. Oh my god! Like if you're gonna do that, at least have you know like 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 a t-shirt or have your sleeves rolled up. Wait, what is? Sakura Wars Revolution. Oh, wait. Sakura Revolution. I think that's the mobile game. Oh, okay. So it's just been translated. Yeah, they brought it to North America. See if it'll do. And if you think the console games do bad in America, well, I think the mobile game's gonna do. Yeah, uh, the franchise still has plenty of fans uh, and has even pulled new for players... For better or for worse. <laughs> ...into the fold with its recent endeavors. But if Sakura Revolution is truly the financial disaster that is being spoke about in hush-hush terms then Sega might decide that it is time this legendary series faces its final curtain, and given Soccer Wars energy, character, and legacy, that would be a terrible shame. Wow. That would be stupid. It's like, oh, the mobile game where we take away all the characters and the setting and everything that made Soccer Wars good. People didn't want, did, people didn't want it, and then we'll just never make another one again. It's like... So Soccer what, Wars... What are, you, what are they doing with this franchise? Let's see. Come Soc on! Ooh, it's for the Sega Saturn. We might be able to do this yet. So, uh, there are translations for the original Soccer Wars. And all we would really need to do is get an ISO player. Or, not an ISO, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually an ISO player. 
And we might be able to play this on an actual Sega Saturn. Hmm. Because I'm curious as to, you know, how the other games played, how they how they worked, really, and just... I, I want to see the other games. I do, too. Until then, we just got these two. We got the good one and the bad one. And, you know, a 50-50 shot isn't the best. That's pretty bad. Anastasia's got a tete-a-tete -tete event in the control room. Oh, cool. Let's do it. Seven, five, three, six. That's good. Okay. Sumira gave us the code earlier. All right, here we go. And you can tell it's a tete-a-tete -tete event because she's wearing her default outfit, which she, she has teacups on her heels. That's stupid. Wait, what? I never noticed that. Oh, no! Like, what kind of shirt is that? It's a show-off shirt. You know, I don't think I'll ever understand fashion, but if you take a look... She's, like, wearing a cape that's zipped up in the middle. I don't think that's a shirt. The red bit. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but... Uh... How many Soccer Wars games came out on Sega Saturn? Four, I think. Uh, let's see. The first two came out on Saturn. The third one came out on Dreamcast. And the fourth one came out on Dreamcast. Okay. Oh, they're on Dreamcast? No. Oh. Uh, yeah. I thought, four, I thought all four of them was, was on Sega Saturn. I guess. Uh, one guess and two came out on Saturn. The Paris one, which was three, which is... It, it's Soccer Wars 3, colon, is Paris burning, question mark. They spend the whole game trying to figure out if it's burning. <laughs> so, the, the, like, they walk around all the streets and go, it's like, it's, <laughs> yeah. you smell something burning? Something's burning somewhere. And then uh, Soccer Wars 4, Fall in Love, Maidens. What's the subtitle for the second one? Thou Shalt Not Die. Okay, that sounds pretty badass. What is it, a Soccer Wars game or an Ogre Wars game? <laughs> yeah. It's the new Final Fantasy Tactics. Thou or Shalt ogre. Not Die! Those are Ogre Tactics. I think it's Ogre Tactics. No, I, got, but I, I haven't play. heard from that series in years. I think the last one came out on PSP and then it died. Tactics Ogre. Excuse me. Tactics Ogre. Yeah. Wow, that came out in 95? Yeah, and then it got re-released on PSP. Damn. I love how we've been taking this uh, time to talk about other games. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I mean, what, what are we missing? They're just pretending that they're spies or whatever, but we need to see what she's concealing. We need to check her body to see if anything is being concealed. How about, uh, under I, her hair? I, I, I was trying to check- I was trying to check your collar, but, uh... Alright. Uh, um, how about your sleeve? Well, fine, let me flip up your cape. Stare at her ass. How about behind your dress? How about uh, behind your dress, you idiot? <sighs> okay. It's like, huh, I'm gonna look at her barracks both back. There's nothing there, huh? <laughs> uh, in her mouth. She liked that I said mouth for some reason, so nothing in her other hand. Dag, dag, uh, uh, d uh, under your boot. Your I'm Where else can it be then, bitch? It's hidden in her earring. It goes I mean, to a different dimension. There's nothing here! There's nothing left, so it's... It's... Uh, it's a butt! But she asked me to be thorough. <laughs> well, what the <laughs> fuck do you want from me?! Uh, I, don't, like... I don't want to make you mad! Where the fuck are you hiding?! 
I, I, is, it, uh, is there a way to turn her around or? No! Wait, oh, what? Well. what? 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 The computer wait, wait. screen? I, I might be it, I don't wait know. Wait a minute, she was being a distraction? And it worked? Well, I bet you don't do that in the other soccer wars. Yeah, I don't like the way you're treating this. It's like, look at me, Captain. Can you see if I'm hiding it? No, I don't want to... Can you just leave, please? I am thoroughly upset that I had to look at a pretty lady. <laughs> But she used us, though! She is using us! Look, if a lady like that says, I want you to be my toy, it's about a 50-50 that I'd say yes. 50-50? You get more restraint than I do. Okay, let's say 75-25. There we go. So, uh, <laughs> I love how it almost looked like it sparked up when you were looking directly into her eye. <laughs> Tell me your secrets! <laughs> what do you have hidden behind your eye? Ah! Uh, what did we say earlier? I was too busy looking up different JRPGs. S something Aww. about being a spy, I think. She liked it when we were a respectful gentleman. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> oh, I can't. So I'm getting mixed signals from this game. I try to be a pervert, the game yells at me, but we got this one character that's like, you can do all your perverted things to me. Wow, that was a confession? It, She's it, an it, actress! I mean, She's a it, great actress! She is fucking with us! Oh, absolutely, and it's great. I'm falling for it hook, line, and sinker. You'd be a terrible captain! Yeah, I know. Oh, I already know I'd be a terrible captain. <laughs> See, even when we're face-to-face -face with this lady, we still uh. gotta talk about Sakura. But you know what? I like your silver hair. It's yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty, yeah. I like your eyes too. It's it's too bad about your atrocious outfits. My God, honey, that's just way too much skin. I'm like, are you trying to get gangbanged in the alley or something like that? I I can just imagine we kick down her door for the next tete a tete, and we just rip open her closet and go, all right, some of this has got to go. She was all an act! She's playing you! Bullshit! I can tell what parts of those were real. Oh, could you? I could hear your heartbeat. You know what her hair is made of? Pheromones. You fell for it. Oh, sniffed her hairspray. Turns out it's an aphrodisiac. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, aphrodisiac? Shit, I put in the wrong one! <laughs> My wrong hair scent, no! Yeah, Anastasia would never hide anything from us. Never. Never. Except for the cyanide hidden in her cleavage. Well, that was interesting. I guess. Well, alright, that was a thing. That was indeed a thing. And we got so much more to do still. Outside the theater. Oh, jeez. You know, I wish our portraits got gradually sadder as the game went on. <laughs> Just like a little background what? touch. What? Whatever. Just shut up. Tease me all you want, baby. I'm wearing a swimsuit. Alright, uh... What do we got next? I think we got all the bromides in here for now. 
But now we gotta go after Hatsuho. Well, we're not really going after Hatsuho yet. We gotta do all these side things with all these wonderful side characters. Okay. Don't you, don't you love all of our wonderful friends we've made along the way? I do. I love every single one of them, especially get... that one jerk-off and that one lady. We gotta, we gotta check in on them. Wait a minute. Footprints. Oh, we got some hijinks. Alright, let's see which ones are Hatsuho's. This one's kind of clever. Oh, you actually had to pay attention. It's clearly Ginza Odori because of her Geta sandals. Yeah. Alright, we need to get there quickly. Jumps on a car and starts car surfing to Ginza Oda. We need to get there quickly! We're gonna see our next episode. <laughs> oh, that was the perfect place to cut off an episode. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, First excuse me. place is, let's see here, Tokyo Central Station. Another nice color palette. We're not gonna go see Hatsuho. Oh, no, we gotta do a raid first. Jesus Christ. Okay. All well, right. Yeah. Yep. You know, Everybody if we wanna, didn't do you know, the tete-a-tetes... Take five. <laughs> if we didn't do the tete-a-tetes, would we have to do these extra things? I it have seems... no, you know, I really have no idea if these raids are random or not, to be honest. Because it seems like whenever you hang out with somebody and you're getting points, they give you an extra boost in points immediately after almost like it feels like there is like at least one raid every like chunk yeah like, before every mission but i don't know if it's random i don't know if there's like depends on who the head you had a tet tet with or who's who's leading i i really have no idea i don't know if there is any pattern whatsoever well let's test this theory uh the net well we only get one raid per chapter right or am i crazy I, I I really don't know. I, I have no idea how these raids work. Okay, they just so, they just they just happen, and you got to take the call. So so our eyes basically roll in the back of our heads every time one of these happens. So you just don't even notice. I mean, I mean look at me. I'm going blah blah blah. Where's the next guys? Where's the next guys? Come on, there we go. All right, come on. Okay, so next time we the episode's have a running -a long. I gotta fucking stop this. <laughs> Let's make a mental note. Next time there is a tete a tete. Pay attention if there is a raid that happens shortly after, and who it's with. We'll, we'll make a game out of this, aight? Alright. Keep an eye out for the next raid. And also, if my theory is correct, uh, you, you owe me, like, five yen. I, I got a nickel, will that do? It translates. Yeah, that'll work. You give me four cents, and here's your change. <laughs> <laughs> that robot was doing like a little jig, like, no, 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 don't attack me. No. <laughs> I don't know if that was a glitch or something else, but that just made my day, I'll be honest. So that's his animation for us staggering him. That was a stagger? He flew back like 10 feet! Precisely, he was staggered by my powerful attack. I guess. Although I still like the waving arms. Like, whoever's piloting that thing is just having the worst day. So how do you think we did? Uh, S rank. Yes. Sweet. Oh, that's a nice bromide. That's not really a bromide, that's just the victory pose afterwards. Well, that's a nice victory pose. The raids don't count for the bromides or the, the trophies or anything like that. Really? They're just there, huh. I think, to gain a little bit more trust for whatever partner you take with you. So this is the bromide I was trying to look for last chapter. This is <gasps> Koran Lee! Ooh. I guess I sorta missed you! Fall <laughs> that's such Fall a 90s minutes. trope! Yeah, I believe that's Soccer Wars 4. So they Wars are using 4, yeah. the translated uh, titles. Cool. So they know what they're called! They do acknowledge them! Bring them to the West, then! <laughs> um, 
maybe they'll come to Switch eventually. Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious. Oh my god, so, that's a perfect idea. Bring so, them to uh, Switch. get this. You're asking yes. about the boss of this chapter, right? Yes. You're looking at him. Oh, we get to take out the British Combat Review. Because not only is this a chapter where we have to split between Hatsuho and Sakura, we also gotta cram in there the fucking World Games, too! Round two of the World Games is this chapter. Cool. Very cool. Very nice. Very great. Alright, we get to, we get to high-five Arthur, he joins our harem, and then we send Lancelot to, I don't know, Denny's or something. Clean our floors. Mm-hmm. Wow. Restaurant's kind of dead, isn't it? And what what time is it? Noon 15? Oh, jeez. Have, ha, having a hard time then, huh? Well, I gotta go to my successful theater that's not falling apart. Ha ha ha. You know, that kind of doesn't work since our theater's kind of in shambles, so we're both kind of terrible. Ha 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 ha. Okay, are, are you the type of person that immediately thinks of a comeback when dealing with people like this, depending on what they say? Not usually. Okay. But maybe I'm just always thinking of something to say in response to douchebag. I just probably string a bunch of curses together. <laughs> Ending with dick bag. See, I'm just thinking, it's like, we walk in here, and Xiao Long is just like, oh, Wow, Kamiyama, nice theater. It's, it's really holy now. <laughs> it's like, yeah, nice restaurant with the nobody that's in it. Alright, so he wants us to take some orders for him, too. What? Excuse me? Switch some tables. Yeah, let's do some, uh, some work for him, because now they're all of a sudden packed. All right, kind of, uh, 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 all right, we, we got to listen to what the customers are saying. So we can't really interact with them. We have to listen to the thought bubbles that they say. So, Mommy, I'm starving. What should we order? Uh, Mapo tofu or sweet and sour pork? Uh, how about pork? One sweet and sour pork, please. I want jiaozi. You know what? I'll have one, too. To order some jiaozi, please. Two jiaozi and a pork. Okay. okay, so that's repeating that. So, okay, all right, got that. Next, all right, next table. There are three tables we need to take care of. How about you folks? You guys are already eating. Excuse me, never mind. I will <laughs> we'll move, move on to this one here. Okay, okay, can't come here and not get their signature fried rice. Yeah, I can get dragon fried rice, make it two, actually. And also, uh, mm, the jeans of bao are hard to resist. Now, I want a different kind of dumpling this time. Bear with me here. Um, come on, hurry it up, hurry it up. Oh Jousy my dumplings God, are really good come right on. here. Yes, I have two orders of Jousy. Come, come on! Make it three! All right, fine! Okay, okay. The last three, one! Shit! Three Jousy and a dragon, and two dragon rice. All right. Uh, that's, did, that's, did we get all of them? About as good as we can do. So, uh, d four fried rice. E uh, yes. And, uh, d uh d three Joutsy. Five Joutsy! Oh, shit, yeah, there's five. And, of course, one sweet and sour pork! Yeah! Yeah. And then he can cook, hooray. Wow! Wow! It's the third time we've seen this! We've unleashed Amazing. his power! The it's cook has begun! Incredibly done. I'm so not used to this yet. You know, if this was actually his version of the stage, and this is how, you know, this is how he entertains people when they come to the restaurant, that's understandable, but I don't think that is ever noted ever in this game. Nope, he's just a good chef because he just is, because these are badly written characters. Good job! You remembered orders! Well, we got some points with them, hooray. That was a waste of time. And then the place is empty again, good lord. They got strict Chinese restaurant hours, like, we only open one hour at a time. Is that really what happens? Uh, no, of course not. <laughs> hey, what's up, Lance? A little patience. 
Do you want to fight? Oh god, jeez. <laughs> I'll fight she, you right here. You got two swords. Come on, I'll fight you. She pulls out her sword and just stabs you in the foot. Just, what, what was that for? Ow! It's just like, <laughs> this is a decla declaration of war, Kamiyama. That's her. I think that's her sole character is that she likes to fight. And that's fine. You just kind of need, like, a build-up for it. I mean, if she had a competitive nature and not just, you know, me like she, fight, me fight lots. She does have a competitive nature. So she's looking for something competitive right now. So how sumo. about uh, rock, paper, scissors? Damn it. I wanted to sumo this girl. No, no, not that kind of... No. <laughs> she puts her swords together and becomes Scissor Woman. Well, it, it will be. It's, it's, it's like, gonna take a week because these chapters take forever because we just blah blah like in, about like this incessantly for hours on end about stuff that doesn't matter. Do you think Lancelot would be a good slasher villain? Because her eyes seem to, like, brighten up whenever you mention glades of any kind. Hmm. Maybe she she's just... a blacksmith's daughter. Oh, maybe. Hey, old man, I gotta start talking to you now? Great. Oh, you're gonna appear on my stage and in my harem? Awesome. Let me just say, you're top bunk right now. Master Hoshi, can you teach me the Kaioken? Okay, I want you to go back into your mind. First okay. of all, have, have you watched the Christmas story? Uh, yes. Okay, do you remember the kid brother being so decked out in warm clothing that his arms just kind of stayed up? Yes. This is kind of what I see with all the character models, including uh, this old guy here, where his arms are just like up. And it's just so much clothing that he cannot put his arms down. That sounds like torture. How much you want to bet that if he were to bend his arms the wrong way, the fabric would tear and it would look bad? I mean, like, you know, the texture would tear, and we would see, like, you know, polygons spewing out. It would start clipping into everything. Dude. A. Okay. Picture an indie horror game that has really good 3D models like this, but when a person dies, they, like, degrade into 8-bit pixels. I know why his arms are like that now. His sleeves! Yeah, they would clip into everything. That's right. His sleeves are just, you know, solid frozen. Like, technically, they're all clipping right now. Look at it. Oh, they didn't make an actual cloth. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, there's, a, there's a bromide I, I, over here. I love talking game design. <laughs> it's Sajita! Oh, hell yeah. That's my biker girl. I like that scene. I miss her, too. Lawyer by day, biker by night. Hell yeah. Oh, all right. We got... Stop by one more place here. Harlem represent. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Sorry. You've, you've never been to Harlem. I know, I haven't. You've been to Harlem about as many times as I've been to New York. Negative one. Sup, weeb? You know, now that I know that she's a colossal nerd, I I, th I think we can officially start using the fucking weeb term. The thing is, though, she's like an old school weeb, so she's like a weeb like I am. Like, ah, oh, I love kabuki and all of the fine artistic culture and all that. <laughs> Do you think she would gatekeep old-fashioned anime? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you're not a real Kabuki fan! 
<laughs> if everything you know about Japanese culture stems from Kabuki Kit Theater, you're not a real Japan uh, person. <laughs> You're not a real Japanophile like I am. We were talking about Endoko. <laughs> yeah, that, that's cool. I think I would dig if Soccer Wars took a bit of a history turn, you know? Because I love games that, you know, study a certain part of, of you know, a country. You know, uh, Brute Letter did this with that island that they go to, and Robotics Nose did it in, like, uh, that Tanegashima Island or something like that. They, they spent a lot of time there. They made it really authentic, and they had some interesting facts about that. that that'd be cool if, they, if uh, Soccer Wars did something like this. They talk about... They, they actually talk about the theater and the culture, and they actually show some examples. That'd be that'd be kind of neat, you know, kind of, you know, expand your brain before you expand your dong. It's probably why you like civilization games so much. Yeah. yeah. Also, I, I would like to uh, make a count of Inaba from Persona 4. Even though that place is technically not real, it is made from real-life locations. Same with the Yakuza series and the uh, Kamurocho. And actually, all those cities are based on real life places. Mm -hmm. Loosely, at least. Nice little history lessons every now and again does not hurt one bit. The realism kind of adds the immersion. Yeah. Anyway, we just blah blah about Kabuki for a while, but we were blah blah about other things. That's about how these series go by now. You know, if she actually ends up wearing a full Kabuki outfit by her chapter, I think she'll be my new favorite. Because that serious demeanor is just out the door. That's kind of her only thing, though. Oh, what are you doing here, Anastasia? You don't really have a blue exclamation mark, so you're just here. Well, I think that's about all we can stand for right now. Next okay. time on Soccer Wars, we're going to get to this actual story and try and find Hatsuho and all that. It'll be a time. Stick around. <laughs>